Hi, in this lesson we're going to be talking about how to install and uninstall software in Windows. So there are a couple of ways to do it and you could actually do things like modify software if you want to make changes to it or repair it depending on the application. So we'll show you an example of that as well. Alright, so what we're going to do first is show you the two places you could do this from. So if you click on start and go to your settings then go to apps and then installed apps you'll see a listing of the installed programs on your computer. So this will have programs and what are known as Windows apps, such as this Family and Feedback Hub. And just remember that because I'm going to show you the second way how to uninstall apps. And you'll notice that we don't have the same options there. All right, so when you're here, you could sort by name if you want, which is the default, or you could even sort by date installed. So let's say, you installed something yesterday and you want to get rid of it today and you want to find it easily you just come here and sort by date installed and then have it show up at the top of the list and then you can sort by size as well as to how much space is taking on your hard drive all right so that's one way so we'll come here in a minute to uh, show you how that works another way is to go to control panel so if you just do a search for control panel so this is the older version of the Windows settings. And then if you find programs and features, this will show you your apps as well. Now you notice here, there's not as many items here as there is here, because this shows you all the Microsoft apps like News and Paint and so on. And this just shows programs that were installed as regular programs. And then if you click on View Installed Updates, It'll take you to the Windows Update section. You can check out your updates and uninstall some of them. There are not a lot that you can really uninstall, but there are a few that you will be able to uninstall in case you think they're giving you a problem. Okay, so now what we're going to do is download some software and install it. So for our example, we're going to install 7-Zip, which is a file compression tool. So you could zip up files, unzip them as well. Uh, it's similar to WinZip if you've ever used that. So this is free. All right, so we're here at the download page, so different software is going to have different options for installation. So you can see here, for Windows, we have several options here. And if you're on Windows 11, don't even worry about 32-bit software. You always want to go for the 64-bit version. So there's an executable. There's an MSI, which is similar to an executable. It'll install it the same way. Then we have some Linux options and Mac OS and so on. So we're just going to do the simple 64-bit Windows executable. So we're going to download that. I'm going to save it on the desktop. All right, so that's done. So let's go to the desktop here. So here it is. So not every software application is just going to be one file like this. You might get something on a DVD. If you still have a DVD drive where you download something, that will have several files. And then you're going to have to find the one, the MSI or the EXE file, or you could look for something that says setup for the file name, and then you would run that one. All right, so we're going to double click this to start the installation. So this is what is called a UAC prompt, user account control. So this is telling me that we need to have administrative rights on the computer to install this software. So if you don't, you're going to need to know the name and password for an account that does have administrator rights. But this account does have admin rights. We're going to click on yes. All right, so now it gives us an option for the default folder. This is where it's going to be installed. And for the most part, let me make this full screen here. Programs will either be installed in program files or program files x86, depending on the application. So that's the default location. But you can change it if you want to. So this one's going to program files and then in a subfolder called 7-zip. So that way we could keep everything separated for the types of programs. So we're going to click on install. And so this was a really quick installation. Click on close. And now when we go to our apps here, you can see we have 7-zip and it's shown as a new app. And then we can open it right from here. All right, so now if we go back to our apps, installed apps, you can see that 7-zip is now in this list, and it shows the size, and it shows when it was installed. And if we go back to control panel, let's refresh it here. 
And you can see 7-zip is an option here to uninstall. All right, so to remove a program, we're just going to click here and click on uninstall. And if you're doing it from control panel, you would click here, click on uninstall. Then it will start the uninstaller application for that program, which is used to remove the program from the computer and all the extra files added as it was installed. All right, so we're going to click on the three dots, uninstall, uninstall again. We get the UAC prompt once again, then uninstall. And now it's gone. So that was a quick uninstall. A lot of bigger programs will take longer to uninstall. And you notice on some programs like this Adobe Acrobat and Microsoft Office, when you click on the three dots here, you will have a modify option. And then what that will do is give you an option to sometimes add new features like this or do a repair. So let's say you're having a problem with the program. You could try the repair feature, which will kind of do a reinstall without removing any of your settings and then of course we have the remove option and then whenever one you pick just click next and go through the wizard and uninstall the program and when it comes to the windows apps some of them will have the move option available which allows you to move the program to a different folder or different drive if you need to do so you won't see that a lot but some of them do have that Okay, and then I'm going to show you one other thing here. So if we click on Start, go to the Microsoft Store. This is a place where you can install free or pay for applications and games and so on. So here's the home screen with all the categories. They tell you if it's free, if it costs money. It's kind of like the Play Store or App Store on your smartphone. And you can sort of buy apps here and games and entertainment. So let's say we wanted to install this, for example. You could click on it. You could read the reviews. You could see some screenshots, description of what it does. And then if you want to install it, just click on Get. All right, then it'll go through the download and installation procedure. You can see this one's 155 megabytes. All right, so that's installed. So you can open it from here, or if you go to your apps, it should show up there, and then you could open it from here. And then this one wants you to buy the premium version. So close that out. And then you could go ahead and start using the app. Get rid of this. Okay, we'll close this out. In and out of this again here. And now this one's in our list, but it's not going to be in our list here because it's a Windows app, not a regular program. And if I want to remove this, you can see this one has the move option. If I want to move it to another drive, I could do so. And if I want to uninstall it, just click on this, uninstall. And now it's done. All right, so once again, when it comes to installing programs, the process is going to vary depending on the program you're installing. And then when it comes to uninstalling, you can come here to the Apps section, Installed Apps, and then pick your app, uninstall it, or if it's a regular program and not a Windows app, you could come to Control Panel, the Programs and Features, pick your app, uninstall it, and even change it here. And you can see this has the change option like we saw over here to modify it. All right, so once you install a few programs and do some uninstalling as well, you'll see it's a very simple process. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.